edition of Walk the Bases. I'm Sam Spitz with Mustang News, and joining me here today is Michael Clark, the Cal Poly senior pitcher. Michael, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Are you ready for this? Absolutely. All right, let's hit it. So, College Sports Madness named you a Big West Conference Player of the Week for the second time. Tell me, what does this mean for you? Uh, it's pretty cool. Um, I mean, as long as we win, that's the biggest thing that matters. But uh, this week was pretty big, uh, going into Long Beach and, and sweeping them for the first time in I don't know how many years, but I think I know it's been forever. Uh, so it was definitely cool. Uh, I mean, our team played great. It, they picked me up on Sunday for sure, or on Saturday for sure. So that was awesome. Yeah, and so you have a six and one record right now. How have you seen yourself as a pitcher improve? Uh, I think the biggest thing is just kind of taking on a, a bigger role, not uh, just being a closer, but kind of being like a, a long reliever. Um, being able to come in in like the fifth inning where a little different compared to my starts last year where, where I struggled a little bit early on. Um, so I think, I think I've just grown as far – I think I've grown more as a, as a bullpen guy this year. And, Michael, when did you start getting into baseball? How old were you when you started playing? Uh, probably – three or four okay and with, what with, what kept you into it uh definitely my older brother and my, and my grandpa always being around the game uh and them taking us to, to uh, big league games when we were younger was definitely the biggest thing for me do you have a specific memory with um them there, that you could think of there's been a few games where i remember i was sitting like four rows behind the giants dugout it was uh like my brother my mom and then one of our buddies and I, was, I remember just sitting there, and uh, I had batting gloves land on my lap. Some guy from the dugout just tossed them up, and they landed on my lap, and I thought it was the coolest thing ever. Uh, so that's, like, one of my better memories. Oh, wow. That's very cool. And so switching into kind of, like, the game day, what would your typical routine look like? Kind of walk me through that. Uh, a lot of it depends on, on, on what the situation is in the game. Um, but when I get to the field, all that's the same. And then once the game starts, I'd say I go down to the bullpen. And once I know, like, okay, there's a chance that I might be going in, uh, start stretching out a little bit. And then uh, I can kind of tell by, like, the situation if I'm going to be thrown or not. So uh, I kind of start playing catch on my own. And then once they tell me to get warm, I'm usually, like, uh, five pitches away. So usually pretty quick. And is there a special meal that you'll eat right before you play? Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's actually kind of funny because I don't really eat much at all. Uh, really? all. All my teammates give me a give me a bunch of crap about it, but uh, yeah, I don't ever really eat to be honest. I kind of play every game on an empty stomach. Wow. Do you okay? So do you have maybe like a favorite snack? Like, do you have a favorite sunflower? <laughs> uh yeah, definitely uh, some Spitz dill pickle. Oh, dill pickle. Okay, okay. A lot of people say black pepper, but <laughs> I like the dill pickle answer. And. So a lot of people are saying like, oh, there's this home field advantage when you're playing at home. Do you feel different when you're playing inside Baggett Stadium versus other stadiums? Definitely. Um, I think I've talked about it before, but it's like one of the most, one of the more uh, popular like base, college baseball games at least, especially with some of the teams that we play. So uh, it's pretty cool coming out here. Uh, I'd say this whole this whole uh, scenery is one of the best in college baseball in, in college baseball too. So. Uh, it's cool coming out here every weekend and seeing this place pretty packed. Yeah, and I mean, as we're nearing home plate, you guys are taking on USC this weekend. Tell me what you guys are going to have to do to get those wins. Uh, I think we just got to keep keep our what we're doing rolling. Um, our last couple of series have been pretty good. We're getting pretty comfortable. Uh, different guys are stepping up every game, so it's been uh, it's been pretty cool if we just keep that rolling, uh, keep some confidence up. But I think we should be pretty good. Perfect. Well, Michael, thank you so much awesome. for joining us. I'm Sam Spitz with Mustang News. This has been another edition of Walk the Bases. We'll see you next time.